Hi, my name is Linnea Witzak, and I'm excited to share my work on the roles of oxytocin and vasopressin in TD monkey attachment behaviors. TD monkeys are socially monogamous New World monkeys that live in the Amazon basin in South America. In the wild, TD monkeys live in pairs and small family units and exhibit biparental care. Studies have also demonstrated that for infants and juveniles, the primary attachment figure is the father, making them a unique system to study father-offspring relationships. TD monkeys also display classic attachment behaviors such as separation distress, stress buffering, and proximity maintenance with their attachment figures. We know that oxytocin, denoted OT, and vasopressin, denoted AVP, play important roles in social bonding in monogamous rodents and primates. Additionally, these neuropeptides interact with the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis, or HPA axis, making oxytocin, vasopressin, and cortisol important mechanisms to study when examining selective attachments. Most of the work examining the roles of oxytocin and vasopressin in TD monkeys has focused on males. Therefore, it's especially important to understand the role these neuropeptides play in female attachment behavior. We asked two main research questions. First, how do oxytocin and vasopressin affect distress upon separation and stress buffering in juvenile female TD monkeys? Second, how do oxytocin and vasopressin affect proximity maintenance in these females? We hypothesized that oxytocin would have primarily anxiolytic effects, reducing distress upon separation while increasing time spent in proximity to the parents. Given vasopressin's relationship with the HPA access, we hypothesized that vasopressin treatments would enhance the stress upon separation and possibly inhibit normal preference for maintaining proximity to the parents. To answer our first question, we used 12 adolescent females housed at the California National Primate Research Center. Females began testing at 14 months of age and completed approximately 15 weeks later. Subjects underwent 14 separation tests in their home cage, seven in which the mothers were removed, leaving the subjects with their fathers, and seven in which both parents were removed. At the start of the test, subjects received an intranasal dose of one of seven treatments, saline, low, medium, or high oxytocin, low or high vasopressin, or the oxytocin antagonist. Separation conditions and treatment order were counterbalanced to control for effects of time. Females were returned to their families for a 30 minute uptake period immediately following dosing. Then during the testing period, we live scored vocalizations using behavior trackers. All tests were video recorded and will later be scored for other behavioral correlates of separation distress, such as locomotion. At the completion of the 30 minute separation period, we collected a half mil blood sample this blood sample was used to measure plasma cortisol and will also be used to measure oxytocin. Families were reunited and we recorded parent offspring interactions for 15 minutes. To answer our second question, 10 of the same females from the previous experiment underwent preference tests. Females were approximately 18 to 20 months of age for this study and all subjects went through seven parent preference tests. At the start of the test, subjects received an intranasal dose of one of the seven treatments. Tests lasted for approximately three hours and we live scored five 30 minute blocks. The subject's parents were on one side of the testing apparatus and an unfamiliar pair of adult TD monkeys was on the other side with our subject in the middle. The side the animals were on alternated between tests and treatments were counterbalanced. All tests were video recorded and live scored using behavior tracker. We quantified the amount of time that TD monkeys spent in proximity to their parents in the preference zone of the strangers, as well as time spent touching the grade of their parents and that of the strangers. After, t after testing, all TD monkeys were returned to their respective home cages. We use general linear mixed effects models with treatment and testing condition as fixed effects and subject ID as a random repeated measure. Saline was set as our baseline treatment, so all results are in comparison to saline. For our social separation study, we did find that fathers were able to successfully buffer their daughters from stress, as evidenced by lower levels of separation distress vocalizations, noted on the y-axis, one with their father in yellow compared to alone in purple across all treatment groups noted on the x-axis. Treatments did not significantly impact vocalizations. However, when we analyzed our plasma cortisol data, we found that plasma cortisol was statistically significantly higher when females were treated with the oxytocin antagonist, noted OTA, both with their father in yellow and alone in purple, 
These findings suggest that blockade of oxytocin receptors inhibits stress buffering by the father and enhances physiological separation distress. Next, the parent preference results uh, revealed several very interesting patterns. On the y-axis, we have time spent in the preference zone of the parents in purple, strangers in aqua, and other in yellow. We have data separated by treatment groups again on the x-axis, and treatments are in comparison to saline. Compared to saline, low oxytocin, medium oxytocin, and the oxytocin antagonist resulted in increased time spent in proximity to the parents. These findings suggest that oxytocin manipulations enhance species-typical proximity maintenance behaviors. High vasopressin, decreased time spent in proximity to the parents, and increased time spent alone, while low vasopressin increased time spent in proximity to the strangers. These findings suggest that agonism of the vasopressin system disrupts species typical preferences for their attachment figures. In addition to scoring where subjects were, we also scored time spent touching the great of their parents in purple and strangers in aqua. Again, treatments are on the <laughs> x-axis and we are comparing to the saline group. Low oxytocin and the oxytocin antagonist increased parent great touching time, while high vasopressin treatments decreased it. Interestingly, low vasopressin treatments increased time spent touching the great of the strangers, as did low and medium oxytocin. Together, these findings complement our preference zone findings with oxytocin enhancing vasopressin, uh, enhancing and vasopressin disrupting species typical proximity seeking with the parents. These findings demonstrate that oxytocin and vasopressin play important but possibly different roles in attachment behaviors. Blockade of oxytocin receptors enhances distress upon separation and impairs stress buffering by the attachment figure. Oxytocin manipulations also enhance proximity maintenance with the attachment figure, while vasopressin manipulations disrupt it. And given the amount of individual variability in response to these testing paradigms, we plan to add an additional predictor to all of our models quality of relationship with the father. We have several measures of relationship quality that we collect on all of our TD monkeys starting at birth, which measures separation distress and proximity maintenance. Ultimately, we hope that these data highlight the role that neural peptides and relationship quality play in female attachment. Thank you for your time and thank you to my lab and funding sources. I'll be presenting live on August 4th at 10 a.m. Eastern in the I've Got You Under My Skin Physiological Effects session. I'd be happy to take any questions you have there or via email.